G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And me and my buddy over here, we're going to do a sheet mask today. So we've been down to the body shop recently and we picked up three out of four masks that they've recently brought out. Uh, sheet masks that is. They've also brought out a... Um, another mask, a peel off mask, uh, which we haven't picked that one up yet because it's $12 just for one and it's not really made so to speak for my skin type. So, But today we are going to do the Body Shop Vitamin E Quench Sheet Mask. So um, I think that uh, this one's going to be a little bit fun and I have done a video on the um, Vitamin C one I'll leave that up there for you guys if you want to go and see it. But if you're interested in seeing how these masks work this mask works and um, just having a little bit of a gas bag with me while we wait to see the magic happen stay tuned welcome back guys if you haven't noticed I don't have my regular background at the moment I am crook so I'm just sitting on my bed and I thought oh, it, it's been one of those weekends it was supposed to be a kid free weekend and that didn't happen which was fine and so we thought we'd try and make the most of it, but my partner and I randomly just came down with gastro, so um, that wasn't great. And um, yeah, it's just been one of those nights. Last night I was in bed, uh, that was Friday night, I was in bed at uh, like 7 or something like that. Uh, no, no, it was 8. And um, I was asleep probably by 9. And mind you, I saw every single hour. It was it was interesting and um, today I'm just starting to get better but I'm so drained from yesterday it's ridiculous so I thought you know what I'm just gonna jump into bed and I'm gonna pamper myself a little bit I'm going to have a little bit of coffee here and um, and put a mask on and let you guys know what I think about it so um anyway let's get started this one should be really good for me. It's a 15 minute mask and it's uh, for to make you feel hydrated, softer and smoother. Um, yeah, I'm all up for that. I have dry, sensitive, um, really irritable skin. I suffer from eczema, if you guys didn't already know, if you don't follow me. Um, yeah, so I'm really expecting... Not a miracle. I mean, have you found a mask yet that can do everything. Like, I, I'm really on the hunt for the perfect mask. A mask that won't fall off the face. A mask that actually does what it says it's going to do. That's also affordable. Um, yeah, so let me know down below, guys. Have you found that perfect mask yet for dry, sensitive skin? Because I haven't, so um, the quest is real. Anyway, I thought that since we're doing a body shop mask, we should use a body shop headband, which I actually picked up. Um, I wanted to get, there was a few of them. There was like Koala and, you know, a few of them. And the proceeds, or at least I think 50% of the proceeds went to helping out that wildlife. And so um, let me give you a little bit of a read of this guy. Soak your skin in the good stuff with the Quench Sheet Mask. Enriched with vitamin E, hyaluronic acid and wheat germ oil. Its moisturizing effect can help ward off dryness, giving you instantly locked in moisture with 24 hours of hydration. This sheet delivers an optimal and smooth and soft feeling on the skin and is produced with environment, environmental responsibility in mind. Its fibers are created using the sustainable and eco-friendly process and are developed to fully biodegrade in accordance with the European EN13432 standard. How to use? Use the quench sheet mask up to twice a week on cleansed skin. I just took a shower, so that's a bonus. Combine with daily use of moisture cream to complement your vitamin E skincare routine. Well, I will be using my regular serums and moisturizers after this, and that will be perfectly fine. I don't feel like you need to follow it up with the Body Shop Vitamin E cream, but if that's what you like to do, go for it. And uh, let's see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Let's open this up and let's get started. Let's see if it's an easy mask to use or not. Um, one of the other ones that I did recently was really, really difficult. Like it was a five minute mask and I absolutely loved it. The fact that it was a five minute mask, but it had so many bits and pieces, so many pieces of plastic inside, it was just ridiculous. And um, on that principle alone, I decided to never buy that mask again. That wasn't the body shop, um, that was another brand. And um, yeah, so this one feels quite nice already. Um, it's definitely saturated. I like that. And by the looks of it, the design of the sheet mask itself, if I can ever pull it apart, um, looks like that it'll fit quite nicely. Oh, I can't get it. I'm so tired, guys. I'm so tired. All right, here we go. Let me smell. Oh, it smells a lot nicer than the um, vitamin C one. I really didn't like 
the smell of the vitamin C one. I'm just going to use my other mirror to get this on. Um, okay, bring this up as high as I can. It's got the nose flap, which I really don't like, but it is what it is. I can't win them all, can you? I'd really love to design my own face mask, you know what I mean? I think it would be absolutely fantastic to be able to do that. Uh, I know that not one size is ever going to fit all, and I understand that. But, um, oh, that feels nice already. It's not too bad. Um, I have tried one type of sheet mask that felt, oh, it felt fantastic and it molded to the skin and it didn't move. This one's definitely going to move, especially if I decide to keep on talking to you guys. Um, I wonder which, I can't remember which brand it was that didn't move. There's a lot of fluid around the mouth, so... This is probably definitely one that you would um, want to chuck on and just lay back and not do anything. Like, um, I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going to slip, but it's definitely not going to stay put under the um, movable areas, you know, like around the mouth and the chin and all that sort of stuff. But I'm loving that, like, I mean, it's not like orgasmic, the smell, but it's um, a lot less, uh, <laughs> it's a lot less aggressive than the, um, the vitamin C one. Um, I was expecting the vitamin C one to smell like oranges or, you know, something, something citrusy, but, uh, you know, you can't win them all. So, um, this one says 15 minutes, so it's 8.34 at the moment. Oh, gosh. This bit here, I say it in every single one of my videos, I just want to cut this bit off. And every time I come and do a mask review for you guys, I forget to bring my scissors and, ah, uh, I just, mm-mm. So, oh, uh, well... Anyway guys, um, first impressions, this feels really, really nice and I already like it better than the um, better than the vitamin C one and better than a lot of the other masks that I've actually tried. Um, not necessarily uh, from the body shop, I've tried another one from the body shop that I really loved which was the, and I may say this incorrectly, but was the Youth, Drops of Youth, I believe. Um, that one I, I really, really enjoyed. I liked that one. And I have another one that I want to do soon, which is the aloe vera one. Um, the only one that I didn't pick up, and I'm probably not even going to remember the name of it, um, but it was for uh, combination or oily skin. Um, let me see if I can find the name of the other one, because four masks came out at the same time. So I'll just have a quick look while we're waiting and um so these masks i picked up three for twenty dollars um but i believe they're seven dollars each if you wanted to buy them individually and the bonus for me was is obviously that um three of the masks were perfectly good for um dry skin so that was a bonus for me the other one that i didn't pick up was the seaweed sheet mask so um see if i can find that one and tell you who that's for specifically so the seaweed one says that it's um, good for oily combination skin. Anyway, that's the one that I didn't get, but I do have the um, the aloe vera one to try after this, or aloe, whatever. But um, yeah, this one's feeling really, really nice. Um, it's it's definitely a cooling feel, and like I said, yes, it, it is coming off my chin like a little beard, um, so that's a little bit annoying, but you know, to be honest with you, I expect that with most sheet, ma sheet masks. Um, but for the most part, um, comparing it against other ones, it's actually quite nice. Now, generally, I like to pay around about four or five dollars for my masks because you know um, I am a tight ass. Um, these ones are seven. I don't mind it so much um, because the next day, with every other um, body shop sheet masks that I've tried, I've loved the way that my skin feels the next day. I don't actually like the masks that um, are in that pot. Like I've tried, um, I've tried the Manuka honey one, and that actually dried my skin out. I tried the British Rose one, that also dried my skin out. Um, and once I switched over to using um, the Body Shop sheet masks instead of the other style of Body Shop masks, my skin has been absolutely loving it. So I'm, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, that is, but it is what it is, and um, yeah, I am loving these masks. Like I said, I really do love that um, Drops of Youth one, um, and I think that the only thing that could have made that better is if it was made out of a, um, a, a sheet mask, like a cloth mask, 
that was a little bit thinner and molded to the skin just a little bit better like that other one. I wish I could remember which brand that was. Um, uh, I want to say Patchology, but I don't think it was actually Patchology. I'll go through my videos and figure it out. And when I find it, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll put it up here for you guys because that sheet mask... Once it got onto the skin, it was it was glorious. Even the nose flap, like I, it just molded to every part of the skin that it was supposed to, and it didn't budge. It didn't slip off the face. It didn't have this flappy bit hanging. I didn't have you know a sheet mask beard or anything like that. I I really enjoyed that, and I can't remember the reason why I wouldn't repurchase that one, um, or if I would repurchase that one. I can't actually remember, but I would have thought that. Um, if I loved it that it would be memorable enough for me to um, want to repurchase it more But the only thing I can remember about that mask is that it molded to the face perfectly So that's the one thing that I would take from that mask if I was going to create a mask myself um, I would definitely take that kind of material instead of this one because this is a little bit stiff and like you, see, you can see It just keeps coming off. It's a pest. So um Yeah, yeah I'm liking this. I'm just hoping that I don't um, have an adverse reaction. Um, most of the time you'll see when I use sheet masks, when I take it off, you'll see a little bit of redness and stuff like that. Um, a little bit of redness is perfectly fine. A little bit of tingling is also fine. Um, although when it is a warming mask or a tingling mask, I do get a little bit paranoid because the, there is a potential of me having a reaction. Um, but I generally know as soon as I take it off whether it's going to um, be severe or not. Uh, like I always say in all of my um, videos, if you have dry sensitive skin, well not even dry, if you have sensitive skin um, and you're prone to either breaking out, um, whether that's your skin splitting or pimples or anything like that, just take just a dab of the um, product that's in there and just put it in an area where you would normally sort of break out or have a reaction and do a skin, like just a test. Because I mean you can just fold this over and put a peg on it and come back to it the next day. It's as simple as that. Um, it's really not worth the risk. I mean even though I'm your little guinea pig here. Um, my skin could be completely different to yours. I mean, you still might have dry, sensitive, eczema-prone skin, but there still could be something that you could break out to that I won't, and vice versa. So um, be smart. Do a patch test. Don't make the mistakes that I do. I'll put a picture up here of a mistake that I made. It may not look severe to you, but that, that wasn't the worst of it. It took two weeks for me to get my skin back to, you know, what I could say is almost perfect condition after making that mistake. Um, and I haven't learned from it, but if you can take anything away from that, it would be this. So, um, yeah. I, uh, I love sheet masks, if you guys haven't noticed. And, um, even just putting this on and talking to you guys, like, I, I am exhausted and all I want to do is crawl up in a ball and go to sleep. But having this mask on is making me feel relaxed and, um, it's making me feel ten times better. And, I mean, I love that. I love that about masks. A good mask can do that. So, already, this is making me feel nice. And it was definitely worth putting on tonight. And so, anyway, let's get this guy off. All right. It's got my trusty little mirror just so I can have a little looky. Yep. She looks perfectly fine. Now, did it say anything about dabbing it? Oh, yeah. It says, unfold and apply, smooth over skin, wait 15 minutes. Remove mask and massage massage in liquid. So just just your typical sort of um, sheet mask. Some of them call for you to actually wash it off, and I don't really like those masks. I mean, I just feel like the masks the masks that tell you to wash them off sort of. I feel like it undoes everything that it's just done. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I like the ones that you just rub in, um, especially if they're not tacky. This one doesn't feel like that it'd set down to be tacky. It's very, very hydrating. I can tell you that right away. My skin feels fantastic and fresh. Um, and I haven't had any reactions. I mean, no. I mean, my skin's always a little bit pink. I don't know if you can even notice it, but it is always just a little bit pink anyway. But I am loving how this is feeling. I've loved what it did for me, how I felt when I was wearing it. And um, I guarantee you, if it's anything like the other um, Body Shop sheet masks, my skin tomorrow is going to be feeling absolutely perfect. And um, if that's the case, then um, down in the description below, I'll definitely mention, or even in comments below, I'll uh, yeah, I'll put it in comments below, I'll pin to comment, um, how it felt the next day for you guys, because I think that's what's really, really important. It's not just what it does for you right away, but, you know, ongoing results. Because these things usually say that, you know, um, 
that they normally hydrate your skin for a certain amount of time and although this one doesn't exactly say that um, yeah I sort of expect that it's going to do something so and I can definitely see that it has so anyway I really enjoyed using this one um, I like this one definitely more already than the vitamin C mask but you knew I was going to say that based on what I'd already said anyway um, I would definitely pick this one always over that one and um, I'd be interesting to see whether this one's better than the aloe one or whether the aloe one's better which that's going to come up in my next video which I really hope you guys stick around to see that and if you're not part of the crew and you'd like to be go ahead feel free click that subscribe button but don't forget to check the bell so you can be notified of any other videos that I make usually I, I only do like one or two videos a fortnight because I really don't have a lot of time to myself I'm running a large family and um, it's chaos and it's a lot of fun but I don't get a lot of me time and when I do get me time that's when I pump out these videos so it's usually one or two a fortnight but I'm doing my utmost best to give you guys some more content um, and some more predictable content and um, I'd love it if you tagged along and uh, yeah look if you enjoyed this video um, go ahead feel free give me a thumbs up lets me know that this is the kind of content that you guys want to see from me and if it's not the kind of content that you don't want that you want to see from me go ahead feel free give me a thumbs down but go ahead leave me a comment below and um, let me know why so I can sort of help improve and give you guys the, the kind of videos that you actually want to see and yeah because I enjoy making videos as well but I also enjoy interacting with you guys and you know um yeah so anyway um I hope to see you guys in my next video and um yeah go out grab yourself some of these guys uh if you have already let me know what's your experience with them do you, do you think that it's worth the money or anything um feel free talk to me below guys I'll always respond to every single comment if I've seen it um, you're gonna get a response no matter what so anyway thanks so much guys enjoy your night and uh, I'll see you in my next video bye